Good morning again, friends. Another day. Sun hasn't quite joined us today yet, but that's okay. We'll get a little head start and it can join us later. On the way to drive trucks, it's Thursday already. Can you believe it? Tomorrow's Friday. So I just got my go-go juice. Heading off to work. We're gonna go drive some trucks. It's gonna be a good day. We're arriving to our corner. Truck should be ready for us back here. There you are, beautiful. Let's go wake her up. She's still sleeping. Just check the oil. This hood latch was open, and I know I didn't leave that open. Somebody's been tampering with the truck. That's okay. That's okay. Things have got to be done. I get it. I get it. What's up, girl? Want to wake up for me? It's time to wake up. Come on. Let her do her thing first. Clickety click click. You hear that? All right. Come on, girl. There you go. There you go. Let's turn your lights on, make you look all pretty. Sweet. All right. Let her warm up and let's get to work. the dock 8 55 a.m five minutes early or right on time depending on how you look at it if you if you bump the dock right at the second they want you there they don't have time to uh set up and everything by the time they want to start unloading they wanted to be unloading at nine so i bumped the dock at 8 55 that way i get the wheels chalked they get the paperwork they get the forklift going they're in the trailer unloading 9 a.m sharp we got an empty box behind us now. It took them about an hour to get us unloaded there. It wasn't too bad. It was more tricky getting into the dock. That was tight. Six skids, that's all I was picking up. Uh, like I said, premium horse bedding. Going all the way from Manitoba here to Winchester, Virginia, USA. I'm gonna need two hands for that. One of these trainers.
haul a lot of classic cars like that. A lot of snowbirds that uh, go down south for the winter and want to take their cars with them. We get it down there for them without a scratch. So this guy's probably just bringing it here and we're going to load it up, secure it. Probably take it down south somewhere away from all the salt on the roads here. Or maybe it's just coming back. You know, it's springtime. Maybe the snowbirds are coming back now. And his car is just coming home for the summer. Either way, pretty good looking car. You guys wanna go see it? Oh yeah. So you say it's being delivered, eh? Yeah. I, I think I'll have to figure out. This is 68, I like the 69 better. It's just a little bit more definition and stuff. But... 68 Plymouth, a true Hemi inside. It's automatic. Yeah. That thing is slick, man. Clean, clean, yeah. clean. Oh, there's the, there's the, oh, where's the, oh, here. If you flip that, there's the actual. Oh, came from the Barrett Jackson Auto. Yeah. Very nice. Ooh, somebody's gonna be very happy. This is Bill, our yard guy. Hello. <laughs> He's the guy with the keys right now, so. Yeah. Lucky guy. That is beautiful. Yeah, we haul all kinds of uh, cars like this all the time. So uh, if you need to get your classic car from one point to another, uh, you know who to call. We'll get it there in good shape without a scratch. That's nice. Nineteen sixty-eight. Oh. <laughs> couldn't help myself. I had to go look. All right, so we have a trailer we need to hook onto. Uh, 5172. We're going to go pick something up. Probably not a fancy classic car like that today, but maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Man, that thing's nice. Let's go find our trailer. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the car is worth or what it's sold for, none of my business really. But uh, you can bet it's sold for a very, very shiny nickel. 5172, where are you? Oh, there it is, it's over here. Dead ahead, right there. Oh, we gotta turn around. It works better if you hook the trailer onto the back of the truck. do this for every trailer yes every single one just because the last one had tires that were full of air doesn't mean this one's gonna have tires that are full of air bags full of air as well fantastical let's see what they got here hazard lights working out up there this is supposed to be an empty trailer let's just make sure that it's clean are you clean you are definitely not clean. Remember this? We bought it not too long ago for the last job. And uh, now I can use it here. Except I, I tied it in so good that it's actually kind of hard to get out. <laughs> what did I do here? Oh, I got to get it from that side. It's easier on that side. What in the world? That's just... You know, you tied her down good when you can't figure out how to get her untied. Okay, there we go. Drop my gloves there. Off we go. To clean up someone else's mess. I don't mind. Oh yeah, I don't mind. I got the broom. I got the facilities. I got the tools. Oh, I'm old. 
I feel old, I should say. I'm not gonna throw any drivers under the bus, don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to give a friendly reminder that if you don't sweep it out after you're done with it, someone else will have to. Next time, that someone else might not be so okay with doing it. I don't mind it. It gets the heart pumping. Better. Better. Not perfect, but I'm in a bit of a rush right now. If they request that I do another sweep of it when I get there, I'll gladly do another one there. But I'll give you one guess at what they had in the trailer before I got to it. Looks like we were helping the farmers out. We love our farmers. And always put your tools back when you're done with them. It's, maybe it won't be a permanent spot, but for now, I got it strapped in here against that post. It's not moving. It's not moving. Alrighty. Off we go. Skids, four skids in there, four big oversized skids. They're headed to Georgia. This pickup was just down the road, so. Make sure the top is in. All right. Let's get ourselves out of here. I have one more assignment today after I drop this off yet. Yeah. Just have to go pick up a trailer really quick. East side of Winnipeg here, it's not too far away. It's real simple, just grab it and bring it back. Ooh, we barely made it. Uh oh. Comes the fire truck. Go get him, boys! Garage door opener. But 
I'm just being lazy. I can get out. I gotta get close to this thing here. One of these pockets has my super secret open and says me card. Here we go. That's not where the mud flap's supposed to go. Whoops! This spring that uh, hooks onto here, I guess got old and snapped. Luckily I wasn't uh, on the highway or anything, I was actually just maneuvering around in a parking lot and I heard it. And uh, let's climb up here. You can see it right here. So I picked it up, tied it in there, and uh, shop's gonna take a look at it now. I don't know if you just replace that spring. Or probably gotta replace that whole bracket. Mud flap's fine though. Off to talk to the good shop we go. The shop is going to grab this truck in about an hour. And they told me to park it all the way back here where it's supposed to be, so. Fair enough. This truck's getting a whole bunch of work done to it. I guess they're uh, spiffing it all up. I think it's getting a new diff. It might be in the shop a couple of days next week, they're saying. So I might be in a different truck for a couple of days next week while uh, this old girl goes for a facelift. You did good, girl. You did good. 
Yeah, this doesn't really bother me. I've seen some of your comments about it, but it's an old truck. What do you expect? I'm not gonna ask them for a new steering wheel, but hey, if they wanna throw it in here, I wouldn't be upset about it, but I also don't mind driving with this. All right, girl. Time for us to say goodbye, tuck you in for the night and head on home. So driving into the back of the yard here in the morning, we get to see the sunrise. And now driving out of the backyard, the other way, at the end of the day, we get to see the sunset. It's already gone though. Time is quarter after six. Oh no, the sun's still there. Oh, just above the horizon out there, you see that? I know the fisheye lens on the GoPro doesn't do it justice, but wow. That's amazing. The sun looks like five times the size that it usually is. We need a bigger yard. <laughs> Eventually, they have plans to expand when the time is right, I'm sure. Uh, they've been doing nothing but growing since I've been here. And we got Keystone in here, that's how it started. Well, it started GBT and then uh, changed over to Keystone. And now uh, they bought out Darkhole. So now all of Dar Darkhole's units and equipment and trailers is here. Okay, let's get out of here. I want, uh, you know what? I'm gonna get Subway on the way home. Ilda Shane is this uh, little town right next door and man, have they grown. You guys remember when I lived in that uh, mobile home, that uh, house trailer? That was an Ilda Shane here. None of this was here then. And now, look at them, they got a subway. Thank God, because my stomach is empty. And Brit's at work real late tonight, so I'll have to fend for myself. <sighs> I think I have a crooked face. My mask never sits straight on my face. It always goes this way. And these new masks are adjustable, so maybe I just haven't adjusted them right. What if I just pull that out just a little bit? Pull this one in just a little bit. I mean, I don't think that's the way it's supposed to be. I really, I, I really don't think so. Let's see. These are really nice masks, but yeah, it still feels like it's going pop. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to have to play around with it. Anywho. Oh, I got to go pick up the dog food yet. Uh, and something else. Britt left me a list. <laughs> she sure did. Uh, what do I gotta do? Oh, yeah. Toilet paper. All right. Well, let's go. We'll do that in Steinbach. Steinbeck.